All right, so I wanted to uh, show you something uh, with regard to uh, Haruler, uh, just in case you encounter the same problem. It's kind of a special configuration here on the Steam, uh, and you might find uh, something like uh, the following. You go to a filter, like the color filter, everything is fine, it works, right? And let's say you quit the program, and now you are, I don't know, for some reason you decide to uninstall it and then reinstall it. Right. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go right click here and uh, delete the local content, which essentially will delete the files uh, that we have in the installation. And that's uh, around here. You see on the program files in Steam, you can see Steam apps and uh, common, and it's now all gone. It's been deleted, but that's where the PD 9.5. 9.6, PD Howler 9.6 was installed just a minute ago. So now I'm going to go and reinstall that. In fact, I'm going to go just grab that to the side, <coughs> uh, perhaps to the right side, and this one here I'm going to make it uh, kind of fit to the left, or close enough, uh, so we can see what's happening as it's installing it here, right? Um, in fact, we know we could also take a look at the downloading part where the download is happening. So let's go double click that with the control key down so we can open a separate window for that. And this one uh, will be looking at uh, in the common folder where the actual installation will happen. So here is where first we will see activity as we download it and then uh, Steam will install it and it will go down here. So let's go see that. So install and uh, take the default, which is indeed on the C programs uh, x86 uh, Steam. Let's go there and next. So now the download will commence and you'll see some activity here. While that's happening, you can go to download man uh, manage downloads if you want to see and even click on launch. But of course, it doesn't have the launch enabled yet. You could click the launch uh, application as soon as it's ready. Or you can just wait here to see what's happening. So right now it's still in the download process and at some point uh, 336530 will be uh, ready to install. Uh, it's putting it in here. It may be that down here you may have a, a setup file. Uh, it's probably going to launch that. It's going to run that. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know exactly. Maybe it's just copying it over. Uh, at some point though, there it is. Right? It went away. It's gone and that's done it's now ready to run it and there you go you can click the launch so far it looks good right so far that's basically all happening behind the scene usually and you have the installation there now <laughs> that's the key thing is to remember that uh, you have this now installed under steam apps in um, program files x86 steam steam apps common pd howler 9.6 and notice that's the new actual location there not 9.5 as I had indicated in an earlier tutorial. So 9.6 is where it's at. The actual program that you run when you launch it is this one. So at this point when we go here, uh, let's say you click here launch or you click here launch, either one of these two will run this program dogwaffle.exe. Right? And a second or two it takes and there it is. Now we have it up and running. Right? Or so we think. Right? So <laughs> the thing is that there are a few things that may not have been registered. In the, on the second time, right? The second time around, um, it may fail with certain things that need registration. Like, for instance, here we have value. Okay, the value filters work. But there are some filters that need certain OCXs or some other components that may not have been properly, uh, yeah, yeah, spam me, uh, <laughs> that may not have been properly registered on this reinstallation. So let's go to um, this one here, uh, color. Oh, and it actually worked this time. All right. Well, <laughs> this is one where it didn't work uh, you know, a minute ago. And uh, I don't know, maybe there's just other magic happening. If this doesn't work, if it fails with an error message saying that uh, it's not properly configured or registered, what you want to do is right click your dogwaffle.exe and run it as administrator. Just once. Just running it once will re-register the components that it needs, including those OC axes. And as soon as you've done that, you can essentially quit. Wait a few seconds because some of the modules that load take a little while, especially with, since the age of the GPU, since we use that. Um, uh, you know, don't, don't launch it right away. But you can now double click it to launch it or simply go back to uh, Steam and make that full screen and be back in your comfort zone there. Uh, look for software, look for this one, and launch it, and we all good.
All right. So that's basically what I wanted to point out is where is this thing actually installed and what can you do if for some reason you've done a couple of, uh, you know, uninstalls, reinstalls and something doesn't seem to work right anymore, you probably will need to run it once as administrator so that it re-registers the, um, the, the, com the missing components. All right. That may be particularly needed if you have also another version, like an older version of Howler or Artist that you have uh, uh, perhaps purchased in the past from a different site and you still keep both there. Right? And as you run one, uh, if it's not the last one installed, you need to rerun it once as administrator so it can re-register its own components. Um, that is um, what we can tell you at this time. Um, so, uh, you know, if you if you do have, uh, for instance, uh, a gradient, let's see a gradient here. Do we have some gradients to choose from? Some predefined ones, I don't know, like this one here. Uh, we could do something like uh, a fill tool, fill, fill the rectangle, something like that, but in gradient mode. So the fill settings here, we want to make sure we use the gradients mode, uh, horizontal, for instance. Um, and so then that way we actually get to fill it um, in a in a gradient style and um, if we wanted to change these colors now simply by using that color tool adjust uh, color um, you can see the effects you get there by either multiplying or by adding or by doing this in advanced levels uh, different for shadows midtones and and highs so the highlights so the shadows you work mostly on the darker parts um, <laughs> with the uh, <clears throat> the midtones you work on the, the medium intensity ones and if there's any white parts uh, the highlights uh, or very bright ones those are the ones affected in that case here all right well hope that uh, helps uh, don't despair if uh, for some reason your uh, pd howler isn't working anymore very likely it's easy to uh, restore and uh, hope that gets you going and waffling and howling really soon again thanks for watching and um, have a good time with uh, project dog waffle